Over 70 cases of a fatal disease affecting rabbits and hares has been identified so far in Wyoming, and the Wyoming Game and Fish is asking the public to report sick or dead wild rabbits to their local Game and Fish office. Rabbit hemorrhagic disease virus 2, or RHDV2, was found in Wyoming earlier this year with cases confirmed now in nine Wyoming counties. Wyoming Game and Fish veterinarian Dr. Samantha Allen says the disease doesn't necessarily show clear clinical signs of infection with rabbits, but people should look for rabbits that appear lethargic or rabbits in their yard that appear healthy one day then are dead the next. There's a lot of papers out there that say, you know, five to eight days for the animal to show clinical signs and then die from it. However, you know, you talk to people in the field in some other states and they're saying it's happening far sooner. Um, you know, it doesn't really have these huge clinical signs that we tend to look for for some of these other wildlife diseases. But it should tip a few people off if you do see a lot of rabbits not acting normal or found dead in their backyard. RHDV2 does not pose a threat to humans, and pets like guinea pigs do not appear to be at risk. Consumption of wild rabbits is not considered to be a concern, but rabbit hunters should always be aware of other rabbit diseases like plague or tularemia. Now, the mortality rate of RHDV2 in wild rabbits can be high. Some papers suggest up to 75 percent succumb to the disease. Domestic rabbit owners with questions about the disease should contact their veterinarian. Domestic rabbit owners should also disinfect water and feed pans, keep wild rabbits from commingling with domestic or pet rabbits, and think about delaying bringing in any new rabbits. I would really, you know, caution people of bringing in rabbits right now into their rabbit trees just based on, you know, the spread across the western part of the USA. Um, if you are planning on doing it, again, work very closely with your vet to try and mitigate and avoid some of these, you know, sick rabbits bringing it in. Game and Fish is also sending out a survey to small game hunters as part of a research study to get their opinions as to how the disease should be managed. If you become aware of sick or dead wild rabbits, contact the Game and Fish Wildlife Health Laboratory at 307-745-5865. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.